Hi, I'll be needing the conference room. GStar is more than a workplace management system. It's going to help you manage your meeting rooms, desk, and visitors all in one place and with a great visual display that anyone can actually view if the room is actually booked or not. Now we can add displays to any of the rooms that we want to manage with this system. Now you can see that we have it in use right now, but I can go ahead and end it and extend in 15 minutes if I like. But what happens if we want to book this at another time? So let's just say I pass through the meeting room, but I don't, I don't need it right now. I need it at four o'clock. So I just go ahead and select it, click to book, book now. And there we go. It's been locked for that time. And I can go ahead and end the meeting if I finish this one right now and it turns in green. So it's a great visual display for anyone who passes by to know if the meeting room is available or not. And it's letting me know that there's a meeting in two hours and 15 minutes. So this is a really great system. And all of this is also visualized in the panel. So right now it's not in use. I'll go ahead and refresh over here on my computer and I can go ahead and select this specific conference room, which is the mid sizes room. And we can see there's a meeting booked for a specific time. And I can go ahead and book it from here also. And it will turn red on the display if I book it from the computer also. So let's go ahead and jump into the user panel. So right now, what we are viewing is the user panel. This is where we're going to view all the rooms and the layout of this floor room. We can go ahead and add another floor room or edit this one if we like. This is a demo one that I'm going to show you. So in this case, we can go ahead and view the mid-size room. We can also view the focus room and we also have the desk available here. Now, I would recommend that you get started by signing up to a free account. If you jump over to Yeastar, with the link provided in the description, it's gonna take you to the free trial so you can go ahead and sign up and test it out for yourself. And we can start off with the Yeastar Workplace, which is what I'm showing you right now. You can start for free, check it out, test it, and see if it's the right fit for you. You can start a 30 day free trial. Now, once you're here, this is the user panel, and what I want to show you first is the management portal. This is where we're going to obviously set our settings for our Yeastar display and for all the management floor system here. So let's go ahead and the manage portal. It's gonna ask us for the password because obviously this is an important place. And the first thing that we're gonna view is the dashboard to view what's going on. For example, meeting rooms, desk, the visits, the smart devices. And in this case, I have one room display and I can assign it to a specific room inside of here, the settings, okay? So you have the user management where you're gonna add your users and groups. Now this is going to help you to add settings if you wanted for certain displays to only work with certain users, we can do so because we have the users available right here. We can go ahead and add, import, or export if we like, and send welcome emails also. For the meeting rooms, this is the settings. So we have room schedules, and you can see we have one room booked at four o'clock, which the one that I showed you right now, and the other one that already passed and has been canceled. There's also the room management, for example, there's two rooms on this floor plan, which is the mid-size room and the focus room. If I want to add a new one, I can do so. But in this case, we're going to work with the mid-size room, which is what we're working with. And I have it connected to the smart device, which is the main one. Now, this is how I named it. You can go ahead and name it whatever you like to go ahead and find um, to which one goes with which room, okay? Now, we can name our room the building that it's tied to the demo floor. If you have more floors, you can add them here. So this is great for corporate rooms, for studios, where you want to display this, if it's available or not. The capacity for this room, the facility, what's available here, and all that's also being displayed in the display system. The smart devices, it's tied to the main one. So again, if I had several devices here, I can go ahead and select the one that I want to tie to specific room. You can enable check-in if you like. If you want to disable it, that's also available. So they won't be able to check in from the device, but all, you can do so from the computer and they'll view it on the device. Uh, booking type is a regular meeting room. You can do a dedicated meeting room or a request only rooms. You can allow booking on room display or not. Users with room booking permissions. Like I said, if we have all the users added from our company, we can go ahead and select the people who are available to request the room and remarks if we want to do that. Again, like I said, we can add new ones and edit all the rooms that we have available here. You have your room preferences for here, for example, the booking settings, and there's several settings here. I won't go through every single one of these because obviously there's a lot of them. 
but the you got your booking settings, your meeting room approvals, your check-in and settings, and all these meetings are being also sent over by email. So you, you can also have that second notification that a room is being booked or used. The check-in and end settings. Now there is a setting where you can automatically end the meeting when no one's detected using a sensor like this one. So you can automatically cancel abandoned meetings and free up empty rooms from others to book based on real-time occupancy, data captured by people counting sensor. The identity after the vacation setting, right now it's disabled, but you can enable that. The access control room and the meeting services. Then we have the room display settings. Remember I, can, I told you you can change the colors. So this is the available one, the starting soon and in use. So we have all these available for editing. For example, right now we're in the available. We can change the logo, the background image. If we want to add one, the meeting subject, show meeting organizer, the status theme colors. So green, orange and red, which would be your standard colors for something to display that it's available or not. But you can change the colors if you like. The energy saving settings if you like. Also the screen brightness. If it's if you need more brightness, brightness you can go ahead and they, um, put it to 100% or lower it if you like. The light brightness settings, and we can go ahead and save it once you like it, just like it is, okay? Then we have the meeting room reports. So let's go ahead and wait for that. Here we go, the meeting room reports. You can see them right here. Total for meetings, total meeting length, and we have all this available information to make use of it and make good decisions for the system or the rooms. Then we have for the visits. There's also a visit lock. So for example, I have one pretend visit here from Al Pacino and he is invited. I can set the operation for check-in questionnaire if I like. So if I wanna add more information, I can do so here. For example, what company does, does this person come from and all the information for them. The visit type, if I need to add different type of visit types, depending on the business where I want to use this. In this case, you have visitor, customers, and job interview. But if you wanna add a different type of visit type, which would be kind of set like categories, okay? So if you have different type of categories, you can say someone who's like packages, who's going to delivery, deliver, well, I can, we can add delivery here, just something like that, okay? The welcome screen, if we wanna add a display for this, we have the visit settings, for example, the basic settings here, the notification template, and we also have the visit report for the visits. And next we have the desk. Desk also, we can view the schedules here. We have the desk management for this. For example, you can add all the desks that you have available. And this is great because for the visits, we can tie this to send them to the right person. Next we have is the device management. Here in the, the device management system is where we're gonna add all the displays. So if you receive more displays, we can add them here. And it's gonna ask us for the SN and the device type. When we turn on the display, we have that serial number that we can add here and it's gonna be tied together. The system also is working with Wi-Fi, so it's super easy to start working and tie it together, okay? And there's also integrations to integrate with Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, Active Directory, OpenLDAP server, and Microsoft Teams. So it's easy to connect with these. So for example, if I wanted to connect with Google Workspace to tie my calendar with Yeastar, so it's a cross integration, I'll connect. And all I have to do is verify. I'm gonna select my email. I'm going to allow it access and I'll continue. And that's how easy it is to connect with your Google Workspace. Now, for the company settings, it's obviously the information, our logos and all that, the building management. So for example, we have a building here, which is the main one, so the SAS master building, but maybe you have more buildings in the corporation. In this case, I've reached the number for this plan, but you can add them here. There's also the preferences for this, the email, the plan, if you wanna change the plan, and we have all that available here. So it's super easy to get started with the settings. Once you tie it to the room and create the floor plan, it's super easy to work. And once you have all that settings, you're gonna go into the user portal, and you're gonna get started with this, which is the main display. Once every day you jump in, this is what you're going to view, and you're going to see what rooms have been scheduled, who has visits, what desk, and all that good stuff here. Now, if you need to view just rooms, we can go ahead and select it and view the rooms here. The desk here, we have a quick, easy display for this, and the schedule. If you need to invite someone, you just go ahead and go into invite and add all the details here for that specific visitor. Again, we can select if it's the visitor type, customer or job interviewee, the host, who's it going to be, the notification, et cetera, and it's gonna be added right here. We can also view the schedule to view everything that's going on for that specific date. 
So it's super easy to work with the YeStar Workplace Management System. Now you can start managing meetings for rooms, desks, and visitors all in one place, and it's going to make your corporation really professional with this system. So I do recommend it. Go ahead and check it out. There will be a free trial link in the description so you can go ahead and sign up. And I thank you all for watching, and that's a wrap.